It is 9.48 on this Saturday morning. Time for Imagine It. Carl Nelson is here. You brought uh, one of my favorite accessories. Thanks so much. <laughs> That's right. Well, we are going to make the classic incandescent light bulb today. Oh, okay. And you can't think about light bulbs and t uh, without thinking about Thomas Edison. Right, right, of course. He worked to make them economical and also work for more than just a few minutes, make them work for thousands of hours. Sure. A lot of the work he did was with the filament that goes between the electrodes inside the bulb. Huh. And so for our light bulb, which is this little setup here, All right. we're going to use graphite from a mechanical pencil. Sure, which we've all seen before. Right. And it's a mixture of graphite and lead, uh, uh, clay. I'm sorry, graphite and clay. There's no lead in the lead of a pencil. Okay. Okay. Now, this is the tricky part. So if you can hold your lead right in the middle, mm -hmm. I'm going to open up these little clips and you're going to okay. very carefully stick it in and without breaking it, okay. this is the tricky part, just hold it gently in there and I'll close the clips. Is it in? Uh-huh. Perfect. Okay. Okay. This is our filament. This is the thing that's going to light up. Okay. Now, Graphite is not a good conductor of electricity. That's kind of what we want. We want it to heat up and resist the flow of current. Okay. And that's why I've taped together eight one and a half volt batteries because the voltage here is now 12 volts. Okay, so we so, amped it up a little bit. That's right, the more voltage you have, that's kind of like the more pressure mm -hmm. to push the current through the filament. So let's go ahead and try this. Um, take your lead. Okay. We're gonna make a complete circuit. Stick it on the end of the battery. Okay. I'll stick mine over here and just hold it in place. Oh wow, we're starting to see some smoke and we have a little bit. And we start to see the filament start light. to glow. Yes. Now that smoke coming off was just because of the, the moisture from the clay that's okay. mixed with the graphite. Mm -hmm. um, a little moisture coming off. Now the problem that early workers with light bulbs had was that eventually that filament burns out. Right, uh, okay. What happens is it reacts with the oxygen in the air mm -hmm. and it kind of slowly combusts. And so it, it sort of if you can look really closely, you might be able to see that this is thinner right here mm -hmm. than on the ends. It's really hard to see. So, so in theory, it would burn out at some point. Yeah, and so because of that oxygen in the air. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little experiment and see if we can remove the oxygen in the air. Hmm. Okay, okay. two setups here. All right. You're going to use these leads, and you're going to okay. connect up to your battery. And I'm going to put a little envelope over your light bulb. Don't turn it on yet. Okay. I'm going to do the same right. thing with mine. Sure. And mine actually has a connection to a balloon filled with helium. Okay. So I'm going to put some helium inside my light bulb container, All try right. to flush out that oxygen. And we're going to do a little experiment, a comparison, and see if mine lasts longer than yours hmm. because there's no oxygen inside sure. the bulb. Okay. And this is exactly what bulb manufacturers do today. Let's go. Let's okay, give it a try. Ready? Three, two, one, and just stick it right in the end. Mm -hmm. And we'll hold it there. And you can see that, that uh, smoke is coming off again as we burn out yeah. some of the moisture inside the clay. Now, it doesn't look like mine is getting quite as bright yes, as yours. Yes, mine is brighter. But I think I'm going to make a guess or a prediction that mine might last a little bit longer. Okay. And like I say, this is exactly what bulb manufacturers do today. They put krypton, argon, nitrogen, pure nitrogen, no oxygen, inside those bulb elements to keep the bulb filaments lasting longer and longer. Okay. Now, this is certainly an experiment you can try at home, although I'd have to say, if you're going to try this, those filaments get very, very hot. So supervision from mom or dad. You might want to have an adult. Oh, oh, look at that. And I am still going. Okay. Now, I'm not sure how long mine will. Oh, oh, oh well. I'm back. Oh, you're back. <laughs> all right. Well, see, that's what science is all about, just trying it and see what happens. Okay. Oh, all it right. might be me over here. I might be kind you of You might be shorting off. it in and yeah. out. Ah, uh, okay. Gotcha. But again, Really cool thing, you can make an incandescent light bulb at home. If you do it, make sure you have an adult helper, lab assistant, if you will, just to make sure that you don't uh, burn yourself with hot filament. Nice. All right. But again, same sort of stuff that Thomas Edison did in the 1800s. Very cool. Well, Carl Nelson, thanks so much for coming in. There you go. We built some light bulbs today. Folks, if you want to check out the Imagination Station, they are open today from 10 to 5 at One Discovery Way in downtown Toledo. And that's going to do it for us here on Imagine It. From there, let's send it over to sports.